Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a game where black makes the ultimate blunder. That is resigning in a winning position. In this position, black resigned. Although, as you'll see, they actually had a way to win. Black saw the upcoming couple of moves and decided to throw in the towel. After the forced move of king to d5 and seeing this knight fork on e7, Black decided, I'm not winning this game, I'll just resign instead of playing it out. However, as I mentioned, there is a win here. Not only can Black hang on, they can actually win the game. Your goal is to figure out how Black can do that. We'll go back to the original position, just to start from where the original position resigned. See if you can figure out how Black can not only hold on, but can win this game. While you're thinking about the answer here, let me quickly encourage you to subscribe if you have not yet already. Half of the income I earn in this channel goes directly to charity, so every like, every subscriber helps us out so much. Okay, let's talk about it. So, as I mentioned, this position is where black resigned. They did not play king d5, but they saw that they were forced to play king d5 and the ensuing fork as well. So in this position, it seems like no matter what you do, you're losing your queen, right? Yes, that's right. But you have a couple of options as black. You can move to any of these squares, right? If you go up the board, oh, you can't actually go up the board, sorry. If you go this way, they're gonna take your queen and you don't have anything to do. You don't have a fancy fork with your knight. You really don't have anything. So you kind of have to figure out a way to force white in some way. Okay, so if you haven't seen the idea the idea is to play king to e4. Now, what is this doing? This is pushing the king into a rather precarious position. After knight takes queen, which happens on the next move, I now have to make a choice here. I can play check with the pawn. I can maybe try to set something up with bishop here and then check. I can't move this pawn because it's pinned currently. So if you were thinking about moving this pawn and maybe some fork, it's not going to work. So there's only one sensible move here, but the question is, can you calculate out after this F3 check what to do? So F3 check. If you're playing white here, what do you do? You have a couple of moves, right? You can go here, right? The knight is guarding these squares. Let me do red. And you have these squares to go to. Let me use a different color. So what would you do if you're black? Or sorry, if you were white? You have multiple choices. Let's go through each one. You can play king f2. If you go king f2, this is actually a mate in 10. It might be fun to try just to show it really fast. Bishop h4 is what kicks that off. And you'll see the way the pieces are working together. The king is forced to g1. When they go there, you have a check. They can run away. And then you queen. And even though they can get a check out of it, or this way or this way, it's still not going to be the best way to do it. They're going to lose either way. Just to show the most efficient defense, knight d6 check, king f3. Something's happening here. You're not going to be able to stop it. Check, king e2. Look at this. This is the best defense. Knight f5. You can just take this. Yeah, and this is, according to the computer, the most resistance. But you can clearly see in this position, it is over. Okay. All that is to show that in this position, all the choices, you have these three choices, we just ruled out F2. That is not going to work. Okay, what about E1? What about D2? So E1 is not, again, kind of the same. It's about the worst. Uh, they're both pretty much the worst at this point. It's re relatively equal. So that runs into a fork. And let's just look at what happens. You check. The king has to move. Let's go here. doesn't really matter. You take this and look at the material. You're up a piece. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you have two pieces. Oops. And they have one piece. So you're winning. It might not be too difficult to see that. Is it any different if the king goes to d2? Well, surprisingly, d2 is the best defense. Now, I say surprisingly because you're walking into this discovered check, and that seems a little counterintuitive, to me at least. 
So again, just taking one moment from this initial position, you have to see all of this, the moving of the king, the moving of the king again, this push. So it makes sense why black resigned. However, it's worth thinking about that in your own games. Don't resign prematurely. Think it out. So let's go. You already saw this. You saw the check. As I mentioned, the best defense for white is to move into the fire here. That sounds a little wild, but that's the way to do it. Now let me ask you, what would you play in this position? Hopefully you can spot it. I'll give you a moment. So the only sensible move here is to generate a check, which means moving this knight, but you have to attack this queen. The only way to do that is to go to either c2 or d5, c2 is under the watch of the king therefore you want to go to d5 right it's all very logical knight d5 the king has to move happily the king can't go this way so by, by saying that the idea is that you wouldn't lose your knight you're going to keep your knight king c2 and after knight takes b4 you can run away like this and you can just go back if you want and this is a fine way to win the game so the moral of the story here is do not resign unless you are completely sure that you are lost. This is called the ultimate blunder because not only did the person resign, they actually resigned in a winning position. The computer shows this at minus 4.12, which means they resigned in a piece, a couple pieces. Now it's saying 5.3. So it's like you're up a rook here. But Black didn't see that and they threw in the towel. So have that be a lesson for yourself. Don't resign unless you are positive, because even if it's a couple moves down the road like this, you can actually win the game. And like I said, this is the best defense, and that is the way to win. This is a check on the king and an attack on the queen. Awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something as well. And be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.